Hey guys, so the whole world is talking about multi-AI agent systems, agentic systems, because of all the good reasons. Uh, so instead of having one AI agent doing all the stuff uh, in multi-AI agent systems or agentic systems, uh, instead of one, two, three, four, five, six, you can uh, increase the number of agents. So all these agents come together, more than one, come together to solve a complex problem. So in this video today, I'm going to show you how we can basically build a multi-agent financial analysis system where different AI agents come together to provide comprehensive stock market analysis and insights, right? So think of it like assembling a team of experts. Uh, we're going to have financial expert agent that gives advice and analysis, and then we're going to have a data fetcher agent that gets the current stock prices of different companies, and then we have we will have the news agent that finds the latest financial news about different companies. Um, and then there is a coordinator agent that orchestrates everything. So if you see the architecture, we have uh, three main components. Um, basically, we're going to use A to A protocol, the agent to agent protocol, MCP, and then we're going we're to use Langchain, the uh, LLM framework. A to A protocol, what it is, a way to communicate, you know, uh, with AI agents, a way for AI agents to talk to each other. Uh, why it is needed? Because uh, instead of one big AI doing everything, we have specialists uh, that can easily talk to each other. That's why we need A to A protocol. And then comes the MCP, uh, a way to give AI agents the specific tools and function calling capabilities. And why we need it? Because our agents need to do things using, you know, uh, these API calling tools and all those things. For example, fetch data, scrape news, uh, the uh, financial news and do all those things. So, and then we have the Langchain uh, we're going to use as, as an orchestrator, a framework that coordinates multiple AI agents and tools, right? That's why we need Langchain. So if you see the uh, image, the multi-agent uh, financial analysis system workflow, it all starts with a user query um, asking, should I buy Apple stocks, right? And then comes the meta agent, the Langchain coordinator that orchestrates everything. Uh, so that orchestrates everything. And under that orchestrator, we have three different uh, agents. The data fetcher agent, that's an MCP server that gets real-time stock uh, from Yahoo Finance, et cetera. And then the, we have the news agent uh, that scrapes financial news from different websites. Uh, we can mention the website. And then there's a financial expert agent where that's where we're going to use A to A server. Uh, A to A protocol provides uh, expert analysis using our model GPT-4 or GPT-4 that we're going to use. And uh, using all these things, we're going to get a comprehensive response back, right? Um, current stock price and metrics, latest news, uh, market trends and uh, expert advice. So let's see how we can build this practically, right? So let's go ahead and try to build this uh, practically through a step-by-step -step tutorial. Okay, guys, so let's see how we can build uh, the powerful multi-agent chatbot. Um, so what we are basically building is a multi-agent financial analysis system where different AI agents work together to provide comprehensive stock market insights. And uh, the uh, architecture that we saw, we're going to uh, we're going to use A to A uh, protocol, MCP protocol, and then Langchain. And uh, yeah, I mean, it all starts with uh, uh, installing the required libraries. Uh, we're going to install. Uh, we're going to use fast MCP, uh, Langchain, um, and then uh, the Y Finance, um, Pandas, and uh, the beautiful Soap for. Uh, the libraries and then we'll import these libraries. Uh, that's the next step and we're going to use OpenAI API key to mention our model. So, and then we'll basically define the financial expert agents capabilities and uh, the skills. So, uh, we're going to create that uh, agent, stock market expert agent and uh, the description of that and what are the skills that it will have um market analysis investment strategies and the company analysis so we created that uh, and then next is to create the a to a server instance for that we need um, api key open AI api key and then the the model we are going to use is gpt 40 and then the system prompt is like you are a stock market 
and financial analysis expert, provide factual, concise insights based on available data and market knowledge. So we did that. We uh, A2A server initiated successfully. And then uh, we start that server on our local host 5000. And then we create an MCP server for financial tools to fetch, uh, to basically talk to different tools. And then that's what we are doing here. Um, so that's created, MCP server initiated, and then we're gonna define the tools the, um, that are required, um, the web scraper tool, and then here we defined the uh, stock uh, data tool, uh, right? And then um, that's what we created, um, both the tools and then uh, we'll start the MCP server. MCP server gets start, you know, uh, it'll start on the uh, localhost 6000. And then we need an orchestrator, likewise, like I said, right? So we'll convert both A2A agent and MCP tools into uh, LAN chain orchestrator. So we're going to do that. And then, as you can see, A2A agent converted to LAN chain successfully and uh, MCP tools converted to LAN chain successfully so that we can bind everything using LAN chain. Uh, for the orchestration purpose. And uh, yeah, I mean, even the wrapper function uh, is defined uh, for LangChain and then we'll create uh, tools for the LangChain, like uh, created three LangChain tools, right? And now we will initialize the main LLM and the meta agent. The uh, LLM is GPT-40 uh, and then the uh, meta agent is initialized uh, successfully. And then let's uh, test both uh, test stock data fetcher and then the uh, news scraper if they are working properly. As you can see, we are mentioning both uh, test stock uh, uh, data fetcher and then the test uh, news scraper. Uh, we're going to run both of them uh, to see if we are doing everything right. As you can see, it is giving us the stock uh, results, stock data result, and also testing news scraper it is giving us the recent stock news so everything is working perfectly fine and now let's exactly test our multi-agent system using different queries right so let's use like what is the p ratio of the tesla and should i invest in it and the next question is compare the stock performance of apple and microsoft this month uh, what are the top financial news uh, headlines for nvidia stock and then explain the concept of dollar cost average and its benefits. So these questions go step by step and uh, Langchain is there to orchestrate everything. And uh, as you can see, it's entering uh, the um, new agent, uh, executor agent, and then invoking stock data with Tesla because that's what we are asking. The question is, what's the P ratio of Tesla? So first it will do an analysis of the Tesla stock price and all those things so tesla latest price is this much and it will do a bunch of analysis by itself um, using these different uh, agents that we created uh, and then it goes through the different uh, uh, chain using lang chain and then the query uh, the this is the finished chain uh, from lang chain and it says like tesla's p ratio is currently this much which indicates that the stock is currently trading at a high multiple of its earnings, blah, 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 and all those things. And then it goes through the, um, uh, at, at, at the end, it gives you the result saying, ultimately, whether to invest in Tesla depends on your individual investment strategy, right? And then the next query is like, compare the stock performance of Apple and Microsoft this month. And it will go uh, to fetch the stock data. Uh, it fetches the stock data from both Apple and uh, Microsoft, and it does some kind of analysis. What is this latest price? What is the price change from both stocks? And it gives you a summary. And it basically, at the end, it finishes the chain, giving you a proper answer, right? And then it takes the third query that we asked. What are the top financial news headlines from, for NVIDIA? So these are some of the news headlines for NVIDIA, right? Uh, so, it goes through step-by-step -step, uh, iteration to basically give you a proper answer, right? This is the finished chain. Here are the top financial news headlines for NVIDIA for this talk, right? These are the news, top five news. 
and uh, next query is like explain the concept of dollar cost averaging and its benefits so yeah again it's doing the same thing and uh, giving you a final final answer for all queries i also um, asked some other queries like should i invest in google or microsoft or tesla stocks right now and what are some trending stocks and news from S S&P 500 for that also uh, i saw amazingly amazing results a response uh, from this uh, whole uh, workflow uh, as you can see right it is going through a step by step iteration asking talking to different agents and coming up with the proper news and the analysis financial news with s&p 500 yeah i mean um, i really enjoyed um, you know uh, building this tutorial and uh, I hope you will also enjoy. I'm going to share this, share the link of this repo in the description of this video so that you can go through and try it out and maybe tweak and learn more on how to do uh, stock market analysis and trends. Thanks.